Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to talk about a couple of prints that I found on Thingiverse that I needed and or found useful. Um, stay tuned. We'll check them out. So first up, I needed an SD card case. So I found this on Thingiverse and this is really, really nice. Uh, this was printed on the... King Rune printer. Both of these were printed on the King Rune. This is nice. See, I have a dash cam in my car. And I always keep a spare SD card in the glove box. So that if anything ever happens, anything serious happens, um, once I've done recording the serious event, accident, emergency, something, I remove the SD card from the camera after shutting it down correctly and I swap it with an SD card in the glove box. This way, even if I completely forget or something happens, whatever, the memory cannot be overwritten and I don't have to worry about losing very, very important critical video. The problem is a micro SD card, as you know, is about this big. I can fit two of them on my pinky nail. And that's a really good way to lose them. <laughs> so these are beautiful little cases that slide open, friction fit. Let me give you a close up of these parts. As you can see, there's a little cavity there for the SD card. You stick your SD card in there. This slides in place and locks in place. And that is it. You're done. You can even put a little key ring on there if you want to lock these parts together so they cannot come apart in your glove box. The advantage of this is this is large and bright, meaning I can find this easily in the glove box and there's a much lower chance of me losing this because it's large enough and substantial enough to see. So if I drop this on the floor or inside the glove box, it's very visible. While an SD card <laughs> would just disappear, a micro SD card. So um, I will have a link down below for where you can find this on Thingiverse. This is a wonderful print. First layer is very, very important. If you have problems with first layer, you might want to use a raft. I had no problem getting the first layer tuned. I um, ran under extrusion down to 0.95 millimeters or 0.95%, no problems. And I got a nice print. It's a little tight the first time you put it in, but that's normal as being PLA, you just work it a couple times and it loosens up nice enough that now I can take it with a single finger and open and close this without a problem. Obviously also when you go to close this, make sure you're not gonna crunch your SD card. So put your finger on your SD card, make sure it's flat while you slide this over it so that you don't break your SD card in half. Um, very well made, very nicely designed. I like this a lot. I could also see possibly monogramming some letters on this. I think that would be pretty cool. So, pretty neat. Next up, I decided I'm taking four gas cans with me. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna fill them with water. I need to bring some extra water with me. And since I'm bringing the cans anyway, I might as well put water in them so I have water. They'll give me 20 gallons of water. It won't be potable because they're gas cans and they've had gas in them but um, they're well dried out now, but it'd be perfectly fine for coolant in an emergency. And um, just in case, for whatever reason, we need the water. And um, being in a gas can, nobody should be dumb enough to drink it. <laughs> I already have a 30 gallon tank I'm bringing for extra fuel so that if I run out of gas in the trailer or the pickup truck, we will have a 30 gallon reserve of fuel. And um, go from there, but, all my caps are gone. <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> all the caps for the gas cans, we took them all. All the spouts, the cans, the caps, they're all gone. I don't need a spout because um, I have a pump. I have a little AA powered electric pump. You just stick it in the gas can, put it in the hose and where you want it to go and you turn it on. So I went on Thingiverse and looked up gas can cap and I found a wonderfully designed little gas can cap. Right here. This is actually beautiful. I'm guessing this is using the MakerBot knurling and then he just got the appropriate threading. But check this king out, this is nice. This is on the King Rune, which did a spectacular job printing. Both of these prints were on the King Rune printer. This is clean. I mean, this is really clean. <laughs> um, I'll post some pictures of Twitter so you guys can see just how clean these prints are. They are like crazy, crazy clean. I printed for them and they Thread on, no problem. That's it. And they just thread on. Um, they are not airtight. 
I squeeze, I can hear air coming out. So they are not sealed, but that's an easy fix. All I need to do is put a little O-ring inside of here so that it'll seal against this edge here, or maybe even just a bead of hot glue, so that the dry hot glue, so it will compress when I slide this on there. Oop, yeah, low battery power. The wire came out of the phone, <laughs> um, so I had to plug the battery in. Hopefully that doesn't cause it a problem, but we'll see. Looks like it's recording okay on here, just lagged to the phone. So. Now I have my four gas caps for my four cans. And I will post a link down below for where to find these files. They are quite nice. Uh, I've just printed them upside down, just like that, on a print bed, one at a time. And we go from there. Uh, SD card is already in the glove box of my Leaf, so I have a spare memory card. And I will also put one in the pickup truck and one in the bus. So I'll have my spare memory cards in case something weird happens. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You have a wonderful day. Um, you should be watching this video while I am in the process of moving or at the new location getting set up. We'll see how that goes. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the content and we will go from there. You guys have a great night.